All right, this is Grade 2, Module 2, Lesson 8. We are going to be solving addition and subtraction problems using the number line, or using the ruler as a number line. And then uh, this is kind of actually a nice pre preview of what students are going to be doing in 3rd, 4th, and 5th grade as well. Number lines are crazy important in those grades. So let's get started. So what's cool about this problem, it says line C is how many centimeters? So what's really cool about this is I notice that the, the ruler here is, and let me get a, uh, there we go, the ruler here does not start at 1. The ruler starts at 12 and it goes up. And the other thing I notice is that C, which is what we're being asked to do, doesn't line up with 0. It lines up with 16. So as I'm measuring the length of C, I'm not going to be able to just look at the numbers on the ruler. Instead, I'm going to have to count the individual intervals to figure out how, um, how long line C is. So let's do that. So C starts here at 16 and it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So line C is 10 centimeters. And similarly, we're going to have to do line D. Well, line D is right here. It starts at 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So line D is 7 centimeters. And then it says lines C and D. So I don't really like the way they're asking this question because they're suggesting um, addition. It, it doesn't, it's not really totally obvious. But we're going to say line C and D. So they're, they're, we're going to use the word and to suggest that we're supposed to add. So 10 plus 7 is 17. 10 plus 7 is 17. And then it says line C is how many centimeters longer or shorter than line D? Well, line C is definitely longer than line D. So it's longer. And since line C is 10 centimeters and line D is 7 centimeters, one way to do it, 10 minus 7 is 3. Another way to do it is to say, well, line D is 7 centimeters plus what gives us 10 centimeters. So that would be another 3. So the answer is C is 3 centimeters longer than line D. And our last slide here, it says all of the slides, uh, all of the sides of the line are of equal lengths. Okay, so we've got three units right here. So that means this guy is three, means this guy is three, this slanted guy is three, and this guy is three. First question down here, A, fill in the empty boxes. Well, that's what I just did. Good. B, the line is how many length units? So we're calling them length units instead of centimeters because we don't know. It's just this arbitrary thing. So we're calling them three units. Uh, and so we have to add those up together. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So the line is 15 length units total. And then the last question, how many lines would you need to add on, right, for the uh, line, the overall line, to be 21 length units? Well, so far we have 15 because we just counted them. So if we add another 3, that gives us 18. If we add another 3, Starting from here, add another 3. That gives us 21. So we need to add two more lines in order to get up to 21. 1 and 2 right there. And that is Lesson 8, where we are solving addition and subtraction word problems using a ruler as the number line.